October Fable 3 was released for the Xbox 360. Comical characters and enchanting aesthetics overshadowed much of the game's problems, providing another magical trip through the world of Albion. For PC players eager to try their hand at being a hero, the wait is finally over. Fable 3 has arrived on the PC, and brought with it the merriment and whimsy that makes it such a pleasure to spend time in this mythical land. There are a few small changes from the console original, but this is essentially the same game that was released seven months ago. The combat has been rebalanced to provide more challenge, and most of the graphical bugs have been ironed out. But don't expect any new content for your patience. Fable 3 still lacks interesting moral choices, and much of the gameplay is inconsequential. But this is still a delightful adventure that will make you laugh and smile while you're slicing up hobs. The story is one of vengeance and rebellion. Your brother is the kind of king that makes it blindingly obvious that absolute monarchy is a poor way to govern people. He rules with the cruel intuition of a petty man with too much power, and as the next in line for the throne, you have to gather allies to overthrow this evil dictator before he destroys Albion. There's a stronger emphasis on story in Fable 3 than previous games in the series, though the structure is so inflexible that it only makes sense if you're playing the part of a noble hero. If you choose to venture down the evil path, it's illogical that people would so willingly join your cause while you're busy slaying innocents in the streets. Although the story often contradicts itself, the ample humor distracts from these inconsistencies. Albion is overloaded with characters bursting with charming wit. There's one side quest in which you have to round up renegade chickens for bickering farmers. The husband's paranoia of these clucking birds is utterly ridiculous, and listening to his wife argue for bird rights is worth a laugh or two. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. Well, now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough. I have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard, no, don't! Such ludicrous scenarios pop up throughout your quest ensuring you spend as much time laughing at the various goings on in this world as you do fighting the mischievous creatures that populate it. You still spend a lot of time in combat though. Three different fighting disciplines make up your arsenal and you flip between magic, melee, and range attacks with a flick of your mouse wheel. In the 360 version of the game, you could spam magic attacks from when you first earn your gauntlets until the bitter end, and that repetition made the combat shallow and boring. Enemy forces are much tougher in the PC release though which means you need to switch between your attacks to keep your enemies at bay. There is still little punishment for dying, you receive a scar or two and respawn immediately. But you do need to exhibit strategy to finish off your foes quickly, and that makes slaying evil far more satisfying than before. Aside from combat, there are various other activities that are used to draw you emotionally into this world, though these endeavors are not always interesting. Forging relationships with other citizens requires you to dance, kiss, or otherwise woo them. And though these mating displays are funny, they fail to build a real connection to the common folk around you. There are also opportunities to buy homes and businesses. You can purchase any building you see and adjust the rent based on your moral leanings, but this aspect is also underdeveloped. There are so few items for sale in this game that money is virtually worthless. There is no denying that Fable 3 has issues but it's difficult to dwell on the middling aspects of this game when you become invested in this world. Pervasive humor makes your questing more enjoyable than the nuts and bolts mechanics would lead you to believe, and the enticing visuals and serene music do a fine job of enhancing that charm. It's a shame Fable 3 couldn't build upon its great predecessor in meaningful ways, but this is still a fun adventure that's easy to lose yourself in. For PC fans looking for a pleasant diversion from the serious games that usually populate the genre, Fable 3 is a good way to while away your time. <laughs> 